as you know, there is a big change that's happening in the world and locally about Scientology. Scientologists, of course, members of Tom Cruise, is a thetan. He is a level five. By the way, he is, as you know, uh, an OT5, Megs, which stands for Operating Thetan Level 5. I believe he's up there. And you learn everything you need to know about Scientology from where? What what book, what documentary did you read or hear? What was it again? Uh, South Park. South Park, exactly. And, of course, John Travolta, I think Kirstie Alley, I think Greta Van Susteren, uh, Isaac Hayes, Chick Corea. I mean, there's a lot of people who are members of it, but different levels. Now, for some particular reason, the world now seems to be focused on the fact that what they are saying as Scientology is basically nutty, that it's crazy, that, for example, Xenu, that Xenu was one of the uh, particular aspects of uh, Scientology, Xenu, this was the galactic emperor who brought his people to Earth 75 million years ago and buried them in volcanoes. And, and and that sort of stuff. And, and oh, Pete, they're so crazy, those Scientologists, believe me or that. How about this? How about this story? How about a guy who's born to a virgin? But not really, but yes, we're not sure. And his old man, supposedly his old man, not his real old man, his old man is God, but the poor schmuck who gets stuck carrying the bill who gets hit with the paternity, is a fellow named Joe who's a carpenter in the desert where there's no trees, there's no nothing. And then he dies in his grace from the dead and he raises people, he makes water into wine. And then there's this book about Noah and Noah is a big flood and he has an ark and he puts all the animals of the world on the ark and, and the world is flooded, flooded. Everything except those people on the ark. They're all killed. Every animal, if you can't swim or fly, and you're not on that ark, you are toast. You're Elvis. And yet we have polar bears. And more importantly, we have the Koreans. That's not crazy. Oh, no. But the Scientologists are crazy. They're nuts. You got to be very careful when you call a religion crazy because I've got news for you. They're all crazy when observed by somebody who's not in the religion. Now, if, if you talk about, yeah, well, hold it, Scientology is different because Scientology, you're charging people for stuff. The Catholic Church charged for indulgences, for Christ's sake. The Catholic Church pays a guy who was their Vatican exorcist. There's a, they're on payroll. And if you want to get your house exercised, you think getting rid of bed bugs is tough? Try getting uh, rid of old loose cipher there. you got to call an expert. Who are you going to call? The exorcist. And I'm sure there's a fee involved or a contribution. or a... You want to talk about nuts? You want to, Let's talk about religion as a whole. You cannot pick apart and parse who's insane and who's not. You got women, you've got people in certain countries who who let little girls burn to death when they couldn't leave, they couldn't escape uh, a school that was on fire because they weren't wearing headdresses. You've got other people who think circumcision is, in, is, is sick. You had in the city of New York a bunch of moils who were doing this medzitza bepe, who were doing circumcisions and then putting their mouth on the end of the the freshly flayed uh, preface or foreskins of these young boys, giving them or herpes. That was going on. It still is going on. Now, you've got genital mutilation in this country. You've got this one. This guy wears a beanie. This one guy can't eat pork. This one does this. This one's got a funny headdress. This woman's covered head to toe wearing a tarpaulin. Come on. You want to tell me what's crazy and what's not? Honestly, you want to talk about Adam and Eve? Let's talk about that butte. You've got people who want to teach this crap in schools, not in Scientology land, not in Kabul or Peshawar. How about Birmingham, Omaha, Adam and Eve, two people walking around, Adam and Eve beget Cain and Abel and Seth. Who's Seth? That's the forgotten other son. Cain and Abel, they get together. What terrific. They have other kids, other people. Any more kids from Adam and Eve? Nope. Wait a minute. 
Cain and Abel, where did the Koreans come from? They were already there. Wait a minute. You've got Cain, Abel, and Eve, their mom, and Adam, the old man. They don't have any more kids. Where do the rest of these people? Tower of Babel, Pete. Think about this one. These stupid schmucks decide they're going to build a tower to God. God gets pissed off, as he was one to do in those days. So everybody speaks a different language. What about the poor guy who speaks Italian? He's got to figure out, where do I go? Why am I talking like this? I got to go where other Italians are. There is no other Italian. You, <laughs> they have to leave. Think about the guy who lucked out and says, you, Migs, you stay here. Why? You're going to retain Sumerian or whatever your local dialect is. Thank God, but too bad. Everybody else is leaving. Lot's wife. Lot's wife, Pete. Lot's wife had the audacity to stare. She turned into a pillar of salt. And guess what? Lot's daughters had sex with their old man, got him drunk, and shagged their father because they thought it was the end of the world. And you want to tell me that Scientology is crazy. You want to tell me that L. Ron Hubbard is crazy. Now, I have no jurisdiction on France, nor do I want any, or Germany, or any other station. But before you start pointing fingers, before you, the church-going, temple-going, mosque-going, God-fearing, Bible-thumping American, before you start pointing fingers and you say, oh, that's crazy, from my point of view, it's all nuts. And the only thing that dis- that distinguishes one nutcase group from another is the number of members in the asylum, period. <laughs> 